if you keep these four myths you will never teach creative stuff. As I have coached hundreds of teachers of creative stuff for three years now, I realize that there are four myths that most believe to be true. I want to share these false beliefs in hopes that you can avoid them in the future and if you are in one, get about that sinkhole quick. The myths I also call external false beliefs and we are also going to discuss internal false beliefs briefly too. Remember, deal with your internals before externals. Myth 1, I need a website. Don't wait to get started until you have a polished highly functional website. A decade ago, websites were the thing. You had to have one. There were so few of them it was mathematically easy for yours to pop up in a search. Now there are more websites than the number of people on the planet. It's true. But if you build one you will still have to drive traffic to it by identifying your ideal client avatar and 1. Capture 2. Nurture and 3. Convert them And how will you do that? The answer is going to include the most powerful tools that have ever existed, social media. So if you are going to be there anyway, use social media instead of a website. Now you can be a lean mean startup machine. Myth 2 I need some credentials. I must go to art school, business school, take some certification tests. No, you don't. The pressure you feel to delay to go do something else external and only then you can give yourself internal permission to go for it and succeed is based on three false beliefs. One fear. Two insecurity, and. Three ego. Let me know if I need to explain more on those in another writing. Myth three. I must build first my program, class, or business infrastructure and then start. Nope. Grow as you go. Otherwise, you will build your program on assumptions. Instead, as you help real people overcome real problems as they come up you are no longer doing so based on assumption. Myth 4, I need more social followers. You don't need a lot of followers you need the right followers. This is why the most important P, of the 5 P's, is people, you are in the action, moving and shaking, process of putting yourself out there and see who your people are. After paying attention to the type of person that connects with you and buys a minimum of 100 times then you will be able to identify your client. So move fast and take risks. Only then will you be able to ramp up your marketing to target that particular psychographic slash demographic type of person. Until then. Be low tech and high touch. What do I mean? Do not worry about tech sites, platforms, apps, software, etc. Instead, work closely with the people you have right now. Commission sales, students, whoever will listen to you. Realize that you are in the learn before you earn stage. Over deliver as you pour out to these folks. Advanced automation tech or online shops or hosting platforms won't help you do this at this season of your business. Keep an eye on the new flashy tech as you will need it in the near future, but don't let it distract you from serving your customers very well in the here and now. Casey Cole Corbin Casey Cole Corbin.com